I think the first time I ever had the thought that I'm like, this is it, I'm a diver now, it was on a camp, a junior camp, when we went to Brisbane where the national program was based, so it was kind of a big deal to be invited to this camp. I remember coming back from that trip and just talking about it for months, and Mum like, has told me she saw a change also in me when I came back from having that first experience in the AIS National Training Centre, so I reckon that's when I thought, I'm a diver now. Annabelle Smith of Australia. Annabelle's been there once before. And had the Australians move into the bronze medal position. Bronze medalists representing Australia. Madison Keeney and Annabelle Smith. Over the past, I reckon, five years, there's been more and more chat about the retirement word for me, especially in the last two years. It's like, what are you going to do next? What are you going to do next? There have been two or three times, I think, throughout my career where I've significantly thought about retiring. I definitely thought that she would retire after Tokyo, but then I think we were all a bit surprised when she kept going. Came to 2022 Commonwealth Games. That was another moment of maybe I've done everything now and I'm, in a, I'm finishing on top. So I'm like, all right, we've just won our gold medal. Do we then try and finish it off, go back, sort of get our redemption at the Olympic Games, and then maybe I'll retire? Once I made that decision, it sort of was just like all eyes were on Paris, and I know now that time flies. So I'm like, these two years are going to fly on by, and I'm going to do everything that I can to put myself in that best position to do well and to qualify for that team. When I tried to walk to the front seat of the vehicle again, it felt like my foot was disconnected from my leg. <laughs> and then I just remember like putting my head down on the front of the, like the dash of the car and just having all these thoughts of like, this is bad. That was when I had my first thought of, is this it? Is this done? Have I ruined Paris? Am I gonna have to retire? What is Maddie gonna do? My coach is gonna be so angry at me. We obviously had no service in the, in you know all the way out there as well. I said to Anita, one of my friends, and Emily straight away, I was like, I need to call my physio. He's going to know straight away. As soon as we got back to the lodge and had Wi-Fi, um, yeah, that was the first call that I made. Yeah, so that was a, that was a interesting phone call. <laughs> I was really apprehensive to tell anyone until I had surgery. Sometime within that process, I messaged Matt and I said, unfortunately, I had an accident in Africa. It's pretty bad. We don't know a timeline. It could be six months, it could be 12 months, it could be 18 months. He just said to me, like, mate, I'll support you and I'll be here and ready as soon as, you know, you can sort of get back in the pool and have a crack. Yeah, it was, it was really hard, you know. For everyone, it was a bit of a shock to have Belle uh, not around the program for as long as she was. So I called Maddie not long after I had surgery and sort of like before I was gonna announce it to, you know, on social media and to the rest of the diving community. Belle called me and she said she had bad news and then she told me that um, she tore Achilles and I think the first thing that went through my mind was, is she going to keep diving? And Achilles is such a, um, you know, it's a huge injury, which is really why there was a lot of question marks around whether she'd be able to, you know, 
I knew she would recover, but you know, it's kind of how you're, are you able to dive after you recover, I guess. It was in 2023, so um, that year's we've, we've, got, we've got the first qualifier for the Olympics, um, which is at the World Championships in Fukuoka, you know, and she's not going to be able to dive for that. Um, and then we've got the second qualification, which is um, Doha, which is the last, um, you know, chance we have. And I always said to you that I don't care if I don't get back to diving, but I don't want it to affect me for the rest of my life. And you're like, well, we'll tick that box and we'll tick the diving box too. We rehabilitate you to do what you want to do. And if what you want to do is play golf with your mates, then that's fine. We'll rehabilitate you for that. If what you want to do is dive again, okay, that's going to take a bit longer and a fair bit more effort from you. But as long as we're prepared to work together and involve the team and so forth in that, well, we can achieve that too. probably didn't really hit me until after I had surgery and realised how square one I was going to be starting back at. Probably the lowest point, the World Championships in 2023 that I obviously wasn't at. That was the first opportunity for Australia to, to get quota spots for the Olympics. definitely a slight control freak and so feeling like that was out of my control and the results of other people were out of my control that was probably my lowest moment and that's when I really had to like shut things off and just not look at things and not watch the diving not look at the results and get a bit distracted outside of what was happening on the other side of the world. The tricky thing with Achilles is there's not a set time frame. There's not a like, oh yeah, you'll be back in this bang amount of time. It's mostly just on how how are you progressing. I like to be in control and I like to know know all the details. Yeah, yeah. But to your credit though, like you you begrudgingly jumped on board. Yeah. I that was Maybe because you didn't have much choice, I don't know. Honestly, I can't imagine doing this injury and not being an athlete here and you know, there's so many amazing practitioners in the world but to have access to the people at the VIS has made me fully trust from the start that I was in the best hands and would do all the work and whatever we could to put myself in the best position to dive again and to dive well again. During that, that period, it was, you know, it was quite difficult for me to, you know, watch from afar and not really have any real control over her in that space. You know, that was really up to the, uh, the medical team. That to have the WhatsApp group was quite good because, you know, everyone was able to uh, celebrate the, the small wins and, and contribute in, in just a different way than, than perhaps what would have normally been in, in the daily training environment. I think, yeah, the only concern people had, like in the very, very small circle, was like, will she have enough time to get back to full dives? And then will she have enough time to get as strong as she needs to be to do it alongside Maddie? You know, all I could do is just support from the sidelines and know that she's going to put, um, you know, everything into it. And I just had to focus on myself, um, you know, not get too caught up in, in the ifs and the whats of you know, what could be for her.
There was a moment before I was told by Steve that I was allowed to jump. I'd said to him, I'm like, I feel like my body is ready to jump. And he's like, your body probably is ready to jump, but I, we don't need you to jump just yet. So just trust me, keep doing your strengthening, your calf strengthening exercises, your foot intrinsic exercises. And then eventually when I got to that moment where he told me, he came into the gym, I remember the morning still, and he's like, today's the day, you're gonna jump again. And I was just like over the moon. And it really hit home when that sort of month of June happened that he held me back or he gave me that time timeline because he knew once I started jumping, he wanted me to start here and the progression be to here rather than start jumping when I was sort of here and it be more rocky on the way up. It allowed me to sort of progress super quickly, which made me very happy. From that moment, the start of June, to then the 30th of June, I had done every dive that I had previously done again. Matt was just busting to have me back in the pool and get me back to training. Also just a massive milestone for me to feel like this is the start of me feeling like a diver again. <laughs> I'm back doing all my dives again, which is nice, getting in lots of repetitions, I'm just trying to get back to where I was at, pre-injury. When I first did my Achilles, I was like so okay thinking, I'm probably never gonna dive again. And then as I went through that rehab and I thought, well, hang on a minute, like I'm gonna be able to dive again. And it was so exciting to get through that rehab, but then the next step again was, Okay, well now the pressure's on to go to Doha and to qualify and for this to all be like a super fairy tale happy ending to qualify for the Olympics, go to my fourth games um, and be standing on that podium with Maddie. We made it so far and Bill, Bill came so far with her recovery and now that everything hinged on how we went in Doha. It was kind of do or die at that stage. <laughs>